Hey there everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It must seem weird for me to do a Patrick Star Show review. Back when the show first aired, I did an analysis video and left it there. Since then, I decided to watch the first full series to see if there was anything more to it. The majority of it was fairly unimpressive, but I felt like Gas Station Vacation was able to capture the tone and the formula of the show better than any other episode. So the core idea to this episode is very basic. The Star family are going on vacation. That's it. The whole plot summed up in a sentence. But this show, and this episode in particular, thrives on its lack of narrative. It's just Patrick and his family jumping from scene to scene enjoying aspects of what they conceive to be their holiday. When, in actuality, they're inadvertently destroying the place and annoying everyone around them. The episode thrusts the audience straight into the absurdity. From the moment the family are packing their belongings and leaving the house, the bizarre nature is established. I think the humour is fairly solid too, as it subverts normal family tropes. Like Patrick's mother who's worried she forgot to leave the oven on. Like, don't get me wrong, it's dumb as hell, but it's such easy watching. The build-up to the vacation hotspot is funny too, and highlights the Stars family's stupidity. They see a family adventure park advertised on TV, and assume the petrol station sponsoring this holiday destination is the location itself. And really, that's the only setup and narrative threads needed. Now, we can watch the family be their usual destructive selves. The introduction of the gas station manager was the last piece needed and works so effectively. So given how unaware the Star family are, they would destroy this place with or without the manager being present. But it's his anger which sells the humour of this episode. He is the everyman, a real person who is being affected by the antics of this dumb family. He is the anchor to reality in this absurdist setting. I feel like this episode loses some of the humour and the charm if he wasn't included here, especially as the family break him at the end. He is the last thing at this gas station to be broken, and it is done in such a comedic way. Unlike other episodes of the show, this one didn't feature television-style cutaways, which is interesting to me. It's as though the writers went in with a solid goal. The gas station is the setting. Let's write small episodic scenes of the family members wrecking it. And it fits this show just so well. Of course this family would mix up a stop off point for normal families with their holiday, why wouldn't they? This show gets bashed a lot, but I think an episode like this proves the absurdist nature and tone can work. Well, that's just my thoughts. I would love to hear what you all think in comments down below. If you enjoyed what you saw, could you please hit that like button and subscribe? It will help my channel continue to grow. Stay close as I try to post new content as often as possible.